What's up boys, it's Jose Zaniga and I'm coming back at you with more heat. And for today's video, we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you how you can identify quality items when you're shopping. So these are some expert shopping tips to make sure you get your bang for your buck every time you buy an item. So follow me along and I'm gonna show you what you can look at to make sure you buy quality pieces. So of course, let's start at one of the most famous cheap stores there are and that's H&M. Now in here, I would say about 80% of what you buy is is crap, right? Everything's cheaply made, cheap materials, everything. But you can find certain things that are higher quality. If you look around, you can find gems here and there. So prime example, $15 t-shirt, $17 t-shirt. But the quality difference is astronomical. Now a quick, easy way you can find if something's better quality than another, do the light test. Essentially grab the fabric, put it up against a strong light and see how much light goes through it. Generally, the thicker the fabric, the less light goes through, the better quality it is. And as you can see, the $17 tee is significantly better than the $15 tee when you put it up to the light. Now, while we're on the same subject, something that you want to look at is make sure you focus on natural fibers like your cottons, your linens, your wools, or your silks. Usually synthetic fabrics tend to last way less because they're way cheaper and it costs the brand less to produce. So for example, this $17 t-shirt that's way better, it's made out of premium cotton. Other t-shirts that might be three, four, five dollars cheaper, usually it's only 50% cotton as you see here, and then the rest is some sort of synthetic fabric. So this is a prime example. This is a, this is a silk blend, which is a natural fiber. This is what you wanna look for. This on the other hand is a much cheaper one, and you can off the back tell, but a quick test you can do to see which fabric is better, do a pull test. So pull the fabric and hold it for a little bit. Does it end up distorted? Chances are it's cheap. The better the fabric, the better it'll bounce back to its original shape. So do the same pull test. Distorted, hence why this one's better. Another thing you wanna look at if you're buying dress shirts or blazers, and an easy way to spot quality versus crap is looking at the buttonholes and the buttons themselves. So if you look at the buttonholes on a blazer or a shirt and they're fraying and they're not, and they don't have a close tight sewing job, and if the buttons seem plasticky or very hollow, it's a cheap piece of garment. On the other hand, if the buttons seem very thick, very sturdy, maybe they're made out of horn and the buttonholes on either the shirt or the blazer is clean and tight, chances are that's a very good quality item that you should pick up. So as for jewelry and accessories, it's a little bit tougher, but I'm gonna buy a bunch take it back to the office and show you what you can look for. All right guys, so we are back from shopping and for accessories, I thought I would show you some of the difference in quality here in the studio where I have better quality accessories than what you can buy in store. I found these at H&M as you can see, they look pretty cheap and just, in my opinion, I don't think it actually would enhance an outfit, instead more so deter from it. They look kind of childish as opposed to something higher quality like today's video sponsor, which is Rose Gold and Black. Now I talked about this company not too long ago, which was started by my friend Angus. This guy created a really nice collection of men's jewelry for guys, and you can off the bat tell the difference in quality and just how much more aesthetic it'll look on a man as opposed to kind of this playful, cheap bracelets that you can get almost in any 99 cent store. The really cool thing with rose gold and black is that you can actually adjust it to your own size. So if you have big wrist, you can easily adjust there. If you have smaller wrists, you can just tighten it a bit. Whereas cheaper ones that you can get at H&M are one size fits all. And if you have small wrists like me, chances are it's gonna be a little bit loose. And like I mentioned, the cool thing with a company like Rose Gold and Black is that these are companies that actually invest time and quality into accessories so they don't end up looking childish Kind of like the beads that I bought at H&M. I think th they, those came out to like 15 bucks or something, which in my opinion, just they look like cheaply made and wouldn't actually add to your outfit. On the other hand, the braces from Rose Gold and Black look 10 times sturdier, which will guarantee the lifespan of that bracelet. You could probably be wearing that bracelet five years from now because it's built that amazing. On top of that, that adjustable feature, that's a pretty sweet option to have, especially if you have small wrists like I do. You can easily adjust your jewelry to your wrist and know it's gonna fit you unlike what you buy at most stores. So if you guys wanna check out Rose Gold and Black, I'm going to have them linked below with a great discount code just for you guys. Like I said, I believe this is an amazing store. You guys are gonna love it. I also picked up some sunglasses, some cheap sunglasses so you can see the difference. So here, I think these sunglasses again were like $15. Obviously, if you put them up against Ray-Ban, you can instantly see the difference in quality. You got better glass. You're actually using metal as opposed to plastic and the plastics also seem sturdier. And if you listen, the cheap sunglass sounds almost like there's parts loose, whereas the well, the better built Ray-Ban, 
doesn't. But that's a little bit of an unfair comparison. Let me show you again more affordable frames like these from Glasses USA where the price difference isn't as much and they still look and feel 10 times better than that affordable accessory. So the moral of this video, when you're buying in stores, make sure you actually check out what you're buying. Don't just go for that first impulse or that instant gratification. Oh man, that's an awesome price, $5, $10, but most of that stuff is so cheaply made that it ends up deteriorating or not performing as well as something that might cost you maybe an extra $10 or an extra $20. Yes, it's more initial investment, but that bang for your buck will be much more greater. Like I said, the items tend to look better on you and they last longer. So that's it for this week's video, guys. Those are some tips that you can look into when you're out there shopping. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. I'm going to have them linked below. That's it for me today. See you next time.